All right, all right, all right. We got YouTube up and popping. I'm probably bring this down a little bit lower. What's going on, y'all? Coach Freezy in the building. I'm gonna be hitting y'all with two different platforms today. YouTube for one, IG for the other. Get the IG going. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, Kettlebell Kings live with Coach Freezy. Got a fun full body circuit blaster for y'all today. So I'm coming at you with two different angles. I got one over here with YouTube. I got one right here with IG. I'm going to go ahead and pin my information down here at the bottom. And when we get started, I'm going to turn off the comments so we can be fully, fully tuned in to the workout. So first off, Coach Freezy once again from Lifetime National brand leader for our alpha program. Super excited to bring y'all today's workout. What we're gonna be doing today is gonna to be a full body circuit, five different movements, three rounds, gonna be less than 15 minutes. All you're gonna need is one kettlebell. It can be a moderate to challenging weight. You're gonna be working for 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Once again, five movements, three rounds. So with that being said, I always wanna show first what the movements are gonna look like, kind of get the body nice and warm, and get the blood flowing. So you're gonna end up having a hinge motion, a squat motion, and unilateral as far as a little bit of a lunge motion going on, okay? So I'm gonna do it without the actual kettlebell first for everybody to understand what the movement should look like. As you're jumping on, if you can, let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm here in Frisco, Texas. I need to know where y'all are getting y'all sweat in today uh, so we can get this sermon, this sermon of a workout in, okay? First things first, goblet squat. A lot of you might be familiar with it. Simple, holding the weight right here in front, front loaded movement. As I hold that weight, I'm gonna have my knees tracking out at 45, send my hips back, keeping that kettlebell close to my body, making sure I'm not compromising anything in that lower back. All right, glutes are activated, core is on nice and tight. That's gonna be our first movement. The second movement, I will give a visual with the actual kettlebell because it might be new for some of y'all. It's gonna be a stagger stance. When you think of stagger stance, think of toe to heel and then go a little bit wider than your natural squat base. This hinge motion that you are familiar with probably with the actual kettlebell swing. So if I have the actual kettlebell in my hand, I'm gonna simulate that movement as far as hiking that kettlebell back. So just think of this right here, okay? Now I'm gonna do it with a single arm. As I pull up, I'm gonna pull through, push back through and down, look at that right there. All right, so I'll look at that, I'll call that the staggered stance, swing to pull. Simple, I don't wanna to put too many words to it, but you're having a staggered stance, you have a swing, you have a pull, and you're going right back into that movement. So full body, when you think about it, you got your core involved, you got the hamstrings, and then you're gonna drive through those hips, a little bit of that lat motion we actually pull through, all right? Whatever you do on one side, obviously you're gonna be doing on the other side. You staying with me so far? Feel good? All right. Last movement that you'll hit on both sides, holding on to that kettlebell once again, and then you're gonna have a reverse stepping lunge. So find your footing, reverse stepping lunge, making sure that knee kisses the ground if that's available to you. Coming right back to that set stance. You wanna make sure that that front knee is tracking out. That's when you get that full glute activation. When it comes in, your adductor, your inner thigh muscle is taking over. We want those glutes. We know it's summertime coming around. I say you need your butt year round. So regardless of the summer, spring, winter, fall, you always need your butt working, all right? So if you feel good with that, we're gonna end up hitting it off. It's gonna be once again, five movements, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, three rounds, less than 15 minutes total of work, get you up and moving on this Sunday. Y'all ready to get after it with me? I said, are y'all ready to get after it with me? Let me see where we got people tuning in from. New York City, Utah, Dubai, California, Brazil. I love it, I love it, I love it. Nice, what we got over here, Budapest, Italy, Germany, we got everywhere around the world, the universal languages movement. So if y'all ready to get after it, let me go ahead and turn the commenting off so y'all can see focused on everybody ready over here on YouTube. All right, everybody focused over here on IG. Get my clock going 10 seconds. We're starting off first with that goblet squat. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. You'll hear the clock work for us. Here we go. What I want to think of is focused, controlled breathing. Within 30 seconds, I should be able to get the same amount of reps each round. So if I get 12 to 15 on that first round, when I get to that third round, I should be able to maintain that same cadence. Weight, center part of your foot to your heel. 
Send those hips back, squeeze at the top. Good breathing here. Stay with me, stay with me, good. All right, 15 second rest. Know where we're going next. It's gonna be that stagger stance. Hinge the swing in that pole. We're doing the right side first, the right side first. Right foot is back, set it up. Three, two, here we go. Swing and pole. Find that balance. That weight's gonna to wanna to take you out. You gotta be in control. Make sure the shoulder's away from the ear. Elbow passes the rib cage. Get that nice little pole. Think of, a, think of a seated row, right? You're at the club. You're sitting down on that little bench. You got the cable machine, and you're pulling. Same concept. Shoulders away from the ears. Lats packed nice and down. Good. Catch that breath. Shake it out. Know what you do on one side, you're going to have to do on the other side. How we feeling out there? Good energy? Texas, I see you. Illinois, I see you. IG fam, let me hear it. Here we go, hinge, pull, here we go. Find that balance of control each time. Let me show you from that side so you can see it. Pull each time, look at the elbow, passing that rib cage. Shoulder away, a little tap. That helps me with my cadence to know where I'm at within my rhythm. Good breathing. All the way through. Get out of there. 15 seconds, two movements left, unilateral. We're gonna have the goblet hold with that kettlebell, reverse stepping lunge, glutes activating, okay? Set yourself up, two, one. Go ahead and get that bell up, good position. Notice the step back. Every time, it's like kiss of the knee to the ground. Notice my front heel staying grounded. I'm not pressing that weight to go in the balls of my feet and the front foot. I'm staying grounded so that left glute it's getting activated right now. Little kiss of the knee. Each time. Bell's close to the body, right where my heart is. A lot of love to go around today, y'all. Come on. Good breathing. Nice. I love that cadence. Remember what I said, roughly around 12 to 15 reps? So you're getting around one rep every two seconds when you start to break that down. That's quick math for y'all right there. We got one side. Now, right leg is forward, stepping back to that left leg, okay? Every time I come back to that first position, good balance, good control. How we feeling out there? I know I turned the comments off on IG, YouTube. I see y'all lighting it up over there. And IG at the end, if you got questions that pop up, I'm going to stay a little after to make sure I answer those questions. So stay tuned afterwards, too. Stay with me. Good breathing. Good. There it is. One round down. One round down. Two rounds to go. How are we feeling? Heart rate. Let's see where I'm at. All right, 144. All right. That's good right there, baby. That's called good work. Here we go. Swing it up. Goblin squat. Back to the top. Top of the second set. Now that we went through one block of work, knowing we got two more left, you earn your progression. If you felt like that was pretty easy, challenge yourself. Maybe you go up a little bit in weight. On my last set, depending on how the body's feeling, I got an extra weight up here to challenge me. You choose your poison wisely, ego aside. We know what we're here to do is get better. Stay with me. Good, 15 seconds. Know where we're going now. Stagger stance with that swing to pull. How we feeling? We good, we good? Nice. All right, set, set. Stagger stand, set, 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 hit. Sundays, baby. Football be back before you know it. Here we go. Know where we're at. Good pull, good swing. Each time. Allow the kettlebell to float and drive it right back out. It should become weightless at some point in time from the power you're generating from your hips. Seamless. No beginning, no end. Fluid. Stay with me. Get out of there, 15 seconds. I tell you, when you're doing it right, it seems like the 15 seconds goes by fast. Am I right or am I right? Feeling good, what we got over here? Shadow master, I like it. Michael Bond, I see you, brother. All right, here we go, stagger stance. Set it up, hang it back. Here we go, swing and pull. Swing and pull, looking good. 
understand how you're starting the week off right now. You're up right now on a Sunday. Maybe you just came from church. Maybe you watched it from bed. Maybe this is just you waking up. Whatever you're doing, you're getting some movement in. You're making yourself better mentally, physically, spiritually. It's all tied together. It's all tied together. Get out of there. Bottom of the second set, two movements left. Reverse stepping lunge. Make sure you got that goblet hold. Core tight, mind right, body right. Here we go, set it up. All right, reverse stepping lunge. I got my right leg going back first. Here we go. Notice that front knee, tracking out, activating the glute. Continuous movement. Little tap, good control, good tempo. Tempo, understanding is controlling the movement. Time under tension creates the change within the muscle. If we do everything with momentum, fast speed, we're not necessarily in control. Whatever you do fast, you first need to be able to do slow, right? Earning that progression. Right leg's gonna be out in front, left leg is stepping back. Turn it up a little bit, we're coming to the bottom of our second set. I need that energy up high, here we go. Stepping back, reverse step in line, see it from the profile. Good traction on my knee. Hamstring and glute of this right leg is turned on. Good breathing. Stay with me. Home stretch is near. Woo! Too much that 30 seconds took forever. We're in our last round. I'm at 150 with the heart rate. Control the breathing. Remember what I said. I'm gonna add a little spice. This kettlebell right here got some little electricity to it. I'm gonna get it up. Hold it tight, here we go. Upgrade it. Beyonce came out with the song. Upgrade ya. Stay with me. Where's my work at? Glutes, hammies, a little bit in the quads too. Center that weight. Good control, good breathing. Abs are on. <clears throat> Stay with it all the way through. <clears throat> Woo! Wowzers. I felt that heat on that one. Here we go. Heavier weight. Got to generate more power through. Set it up. Set your stance. Hinge tight. <sighs> Control. Understanding that granted I went up in the weight, my mechanics stay the same. The movement should look the same regardless of the weight. If it looks different, ego check. Talk to yourself. Make sure you're not compromising form and technique just to say you did the weight. Ooh. You gotta hit that left side. How we feeling? How we feeling? All right, left side coming. Know where we're at. We go hinge, pull. Stay with it. Controlling. All the way home. Two movements left, right to left, finishing strong. Y'all staying with me? Y'all staying with me over here? Here we go. Get that weight up. Reverse stepping. Good control. Taking it home. Core tight. Body's under fatigue. What do you do? Stay consistent. Know the name of the game. Consistency wins. Every time. One side left. 
When I'm out talking, that means I'm working, right? 158, the heart rate. Stay tight here. Stay tight, see profile. Finish strong. Breathing through. Core on. Everybody talking about when are we gonna do some core, coach? You're doing this right here. Your core is activated. Every time. G A M E, baby, that's game. Catch it, bro. As promised, a little bit of QA. Before we do that, wide base with your feet. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. I'm gonna turn the comments back on for y'all to be able to talk. All right, here we go. Wide base, send the hips back. Feel the stretch within the hamstring, send your arms out, palms facing in, deep breath in. Exhale, palms, try to get them down to the ground. Awesome job, awesome job. Little torso twist. Drawing that breathing, bring the heart rate down. Give yourself two, give yourself two. Awesome job. So whether you did the workout or not, I always wanna talk about what it is that you just experienced. You had a total body circuit just now, right? Within that, this is a workout. When you think of a workout, typically it varies from what a program is. Program is something that you're gonna end up following. Frequency, consistency, right? So if you're doing every Sunday, every other Sunday, or whatever it may be, the number one thing is asking yourself, what is it that you're trying to accomplish, right? Am I trying to get faster, stronger, overall longevity, vitality within, within my health? Whatever it may be, the hyper-focus point of your why is what should be the drive factor of what it is that you're doing health and fitness related, right? Understanding the objective that you're trying to achieve and how you arrive there, all right? So I always enjoy delivering these workouts on this platform. Shout out to Kettlebell Kings for, for, or for providing this platform for us to be able to deliver on. But more importantly, beyond today, huh? What are you doing beyond today? The other uh, 23 hours throughout the, the day, right? The other six days throughout the week, that's what yields the results is the consistency and understanding more, most importantly, your why. On the days you don't wanna go because it's raining outside, or it's traffic, or you gotta meet a deadline. Your priority should always be you first, your health, your fitness, because the byproduct of all that being good is now you're gonna be probably more productive. You're gonna be a better husband, a better wife, a better whatever it is that you are, because you're pouring into self first, right? So understand the commitment, understand the consistency, and always, always, always ask questions. And that's what I'm here for right now. So if you have any questions, I'm gonna spend these next two minutes See what y'all got coming through the chat here. All right. Uh, trying to keep fit at 55. That's my goal, David. Yeah, Shadow Master, I love that. And age, in a sense, is, is so relative, right? I talked about this the other day to some of my, my athletes. You have a biological age, and then you have a training age. Your biological age is exactly what your age is today. I'm 38 years old, right? If I started lifting weights at the age of 10, my training age now is 28 years old. So understanding where you're at on that continuum, if you just started last month for the first time being introduced to workouts, then you're one month. You're, that's how old you are. You're one month. So just understand, give yourself uh, grace, uh, be patient within the process. Um, understand every day is not going to be perfect. You either have good or great days, right? You don't have bad days, either good or great. The way you think dictates the way you act and it yields the results that you get. So just make sure you stay consistent, whatever it is that you're doing in life. All right. Love that. Love that. Let's see. Uh, why are we holding the kettlebell? Okay, this one right here. Why are we holding the kettlebell at the top of the one arm swing? Okay, so at the top, it's a slight pull, and it's more for me just to keep my cadence. So when I actually come up and I pull, that little tap is just for me to know where I'm at in the movement and push back back out. So that's more of me, probably just OCD to be honest. Is that Mike? Yeah, Mike. That's me just knowing where I'm at at the top of the movement. Tap right back down. So I can literally just go right back into it. 
I give myself a little tap to know I'm at the top of the movement just from a body awareness. So that's more of me just being aware of where I'm at in the movement. So great question there, Mike. Where could I move up my weight at 12 kilograms at the moment? I say once you're earned that progression, remember what I said during the actual workout is if my mechanics are there, if I went from 16 kilograms to 24 kilograms and it looks exactly the same, that means the mechanics are there. If I feel like now when I go up in weight, my form has now shifted and I'm compromising, then that's probably not the right weight for me. Right. So you got to understand if your flow of mechanics change as you increase load, then first I need to go back down. I need to earn my progression. I need to be consistent within my movement first. Then and only then do I now increase within my intensity. That was a great question there. Great question. Let's see what else we got question wise. Y'all got questions on IG. Here we go. We got Josh saying any tips from kettlebell workouts for the pets. Yeah. You can do floor press. You can use the kettlebell. Let me take this kettlebell right here. You can use the kettlebell. You can think of this in a semi-neutral position, right? And if I'm laying down on the bench, what I can do, imagine laying back on a bench. I'm going to press vertical here, but I know in the bench you'll be in a horizontal push. But simply just pressing, boom, coming right back down to that semi-neutral position, driving right back up. It's just like a, a dumbbell or barbell bench rest, but now you're isolated on one side and you're getting the peck involved within that. You can flip it all over onto the belly too. Think of elevated push-ups. Now you're getting deeper within the actual push motion of that push-up because it allows you to go below parallel and your chest can touch that bell and drive it right back up. You can work the pecs as well. So great question, Josh. Great question. Let's see what else we got coming through here. Pipeline. All right. I think you missed my second question. Let's see what it was. Is there a live kettlebell program that takes place a few times a week we can subscribe to? So what we have been doing, been working a lot with the Kettlebell Kings team. We're trying to create more of a consistency. But I do know you do got uh, Marcus Martinez. If you don't follow him, uh, follow him. You can go look at the followers on um, Kettlebell Kings. He puts out a lot of great content uh, when it comes to Kettlebell programs and workouts. So I'm pretty sure if you dive in deep enough with Marcus Martinez, he could get you what it is that you're asking for um there that was michael so michael yes a lot of great programs out there outside of just these lives because these are workouts but if you are looking to follow a program you definitely should check out marcus martinez on that great question all right let me see if i got any more before I deuces up out of here hey my information is down here at the bottom over here on youtube i'll throw it in the chat as well uh coach Reezy, once again super super blessed to be able to share uh the wealth of knowledge but more more along the lines of just get your body up and moving. I'm always blessed to be able to take this platform and take it to the next level with you all. So as always, stay strong, live long. Appreciate you. I'm going to go ahead and put my information down here over here on Kettlebell Kings. All right. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Stay after it. Love y'all.